Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. So, my new iPhone, my new MacBook, not MacBook, iMac, iMac computer. And um, I was looking at them and uh, it was cheaper for me to buy a computer system rather than a MacBook or whatever they're called or or a laptop type thing. Anyway, um, and I wanted the blue one because I thought the blue would match. You know, there's blue in the chairs, there's blue on my sofa, there's blue on mom's chair. But they didn't have any in stock. So, they only had the green. And after I thought about it, now I purchased it yesterday um, and then the Geek Squad, take it, take out all of the nonsense stuff that I don't need, logos and advertising and blah, 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 and give me um, the computer back today. So I picked it up this morning and I've been playing around with it. Um, I have even figured out how to get my, my phone connected. So the green matches the same green that is in my uh, bedroom, dr uh, the dressers that I, I painted. So I've got a pink desk with a beautiful green computer. I am so excited because my, well, filming wasn't, wasn't going well for me at all. And um, it was taking, uh, I think I was doing something wrong because it was taking like eight hours to upload like a 10 minute video. Like it just didn't make sense. So rather than have my computer crash, I forked out the money and I bought myself. And this is cheaper than uh, an iMac Pro or whatever those books are called, tablets, not plaid, tablets, pads, whatever they're called. I'm not into all that stuff. I don't know. But this was cheaper and at least $500 cheaper than buying a portable um, computer that I'd be running around with when this is perfect. I've got a little pink gnome, a little pink gray gnome here. And I have got my little elephant sitting here. And behind me, I've got my lamp. I have got my drink. <laughs> I'll put that over here. No tea with me Tuesday this week, I'm afraid. Um, and I've got my printer and my printer also prints uh, through Wi-Fi. And I've been able to print things from my phone on here. And I could do that here as well. So it took me a little while to get used to um, the whole Mac thing, because I've always been a Microsoft person. So um, I wanted to share that with you today and share our new chairs that took six months to um, make and get here. And um, I'm very pleased with them. There are a few, few things that I'm disappointed with because they were quite expensive. But um, I thought back when I looked at them, when I wanted them, when I when I sat in, the original one had polka dots or something, it was really ugly, but I, I was comfortable in it and it had a, a, a long enough seat for me to be comfortable in and yet someone bigger than me or taller than me would still be comfortable in it. So I kind of needed, but I needed, for us short people, I needed to make sure that when I sat in it, that my feet were flat and I didn't have to you know, worry about it because a lot of sofas and chairs are so long and, you know, they're great for tall people, but anyway, so we got our chairs. And the reason I'm here after four minutes, almost five minutes, um, I, before I went and picked this up, I went at 1030 and they weren't open. So I said to my mom, well, let's go, let's go to the dollar store. So we ended up going to Dollarama first, and that is what I'm going to share with you. 
And I understand from what I've been told is that the quality, look at me, I'm a mess, I'm sorry. The quality of the video and the sound is so much better. So one step up for me, I'm gonna try and get comfortable on this chair. And I have a heck of a time with it. Now I'm up too high. Let's see what I can do. I don't think I... It's the one thing I didn't like about this chair was that... There we go. Now I'm really low. And... Is that it was hard to get up and down. Anyway. Let's get on with our... Hall. I should have taken everything out, but I didn't. I didn't want my table to be a mess. Now, some of these things I purchased um, with one idea in mind, and then I ended up having something else when I went to the Dollar Tree. And I always like to get these um, reusable bags, and I keep them in my trunk. So if I have Sometimes when I'm buying groceries and I have two small bags and they're a little bit heavy for mom, I'll put the two of them in here and carry it myself. <coughs> and I'm gonna cough. A little bit of my Coke. So, the first thing, there's two in here. Uh, and these are heart-shaped plastic dishes and I was trying to think of, like, I've got my daughter's three boys, and you've seen them. They were in the back of me when I was doing Tea With Me Tuesdays, and I think I shared with them. But I didn't have anything to put in for my son's two boys. So I thought of these containers, because I didn't want to get anything too girly, and yet this was too girly. Little did I know, I did decide to go to the Dollar Tree that is quite a ways away from me, but I'm beginning to enjoy that one so much more because their variety is better, they're cleaner, they're wider aisles, it's a bigger store, and everything seems to be in really good, good condition and not just thrown on the floor like some of them I've been to. Anyway, so I picked up these thinking I'd put all their treats in it and... I have a little gnome for each of them. So I thought that would be a cute idea. Well, you'll see in a minute why I changed my mind on that one. Um, let me see if I have anything else. Okay. Now I needed some more of these um, little notepads for my um, random act of kindness. So I picked up just one. I, that's all I needed. I'm just looking to see here. Um, okay, and the rest, I believe. Yep. And the rest of that, except for this, um, is all for um, Easter. <laughs> I kind of went blank. Thank God I didn't call it Halloween. Um, I picked up these brownies. I love these brownies. It's a nice little treat. And what I like is that they're individually wrapped long, but they've got a divider in between that you can kind of break off half of it and just have that as a little treat. So um, I can have half and mom can have half. So I picked up these and I love I loved these. I love the taste of them. They're Miss Debbie's. At one time, the only brownies that I liked were uh, Sara Lee but I haven't seen them around in years. I don't even know if they still exist. So that is that. And then I may have, now I gotta learn to edit this. I, I did videotape the long aisle of um, Easter goodies and I didn't I didn't film a lot but I did film a couple of things I took a couple of pictures of things that after taking the picture and buying what I bought and leaving I kind of wish I had bought them 
you know, because like anything else, you know, sometimes if there's something you really, really like, it might be gone the next time you go. So I didn't buy it, but anyway, I'll see if I can put it in here if I can. If not, maybe I'll stick it at the end if I can. Anyway, I saw these cute, these are little, the little dessert napkins. I saw these and I thought they were cute. I just, I love napkins and I love having them out. Mom doesn't use, she used to use napkins. Now she just likes to use tissue from the tissue box, like a Kleenex tissue. So I leave her be, but I still, when I have dinner and stuff, I still like to use the napkins. And of course, they're great for decoupage and all that stuff. Now I saw this and there are six of them in here. And since I have five grandsons, I don't know. They're called party favors. And what they are, what do they call it? Game tablets, they call it. And that is what it looks like. And they say it includes dot game, mazes, word search, uh, tic-tac-toe and connect the dots. So I just thought that that was, and this is as masculine as I could get. The other ones were kind of pretty. <clears throat> and that was as close as I could get to somewhat masculine. Now, along with the Valentine little notebooks, I saw these mini notebooks for um, Easter. Why am I blanking out with that? Easter, Valentine's Easter. Maybe it's my brain. Anyway, so I got those and there's 24 in there. And I couldn't remember if I had any loot bags and there's 25 here. So I'll be able to do some more random act of kindness. I know you're probably getting tired of me saying it, but I've got those bags. And then I saw this and I thought these would be great for happy mail um, it's a treat bag kit so let me show you how it is all right so that's the treat bag here sorry about my nails oh my god I've been doing so many dishes and I didn't fix them so that's the treat bag and then that's the topper and these are the toppers so it's the bags and the toppers. Let's open her up. It's gonna be a long video, I'm sorry. Let's open her up. Oh no, isn't that cute? So these are the cute little bags and there are chicks. Well, I'm just looking to see, are they all the same? Oh, they are, they are all the same. I didn't know that. If I had known that, I would have... Oh. See, in the package here, it shows bunnies and... Oh. They show bunny ones. They show egg ones with a bunny and then the chicks. And I thought it was a mixture. See on the front? So I thought it was a mixture, but in fact, these ones are all chicks. Well, that's a ripoff. Ah, see, and I should have looked if you look closer. The little chicks. Darn it. I mean, that's okay. It's just that a bunny represents um, Easter. So these can also be used. And I had seen these after I had picked up the um, treat bags. These can also be little random acts of kindness packages neighbor packages i'm just going to try and squeeze that all in there there we go and close it back up and i think i mentioned a long time ago in um one of my videos that when i um create something and want to package it up and put it a little topper i always like to put like little miniature um stickers on it so i saw these ones Let's see if we can do this without the glare 
I saw those. And then these were the ones I fell in love with, the little chicks. Aren't they adorable? They are so cute. So that's what I picked up at Dollarama. Oh, I just stepped on it here. <coughs> oh, I'll leave that out for a minute. That goes in the kitchen. This goes in with my other Easter stuff. So I went to the Dollar Tree, that store. And make sure they're okay. This I picked up the same. There's two in here, two pieces, uh, one for each of my grandsons. And it's the same size as the ones I did for my daughter's um, boys. So instead of this, I'm going to use this. So I'm going to see what I can do with this. Might be able to do something with it. I don't know. All right, let me pull out things just so that I'm not making a total mess. Now, I don't usually buy hangers or things like that. I either make them or just don't have them, but I could not resist this one. I thought that was so cute. Just adorable. You can hang that up. And of course, you can use the back for another occasion and fix it up if you like, but I fell in love with it. And the one I want to put by my door, just a big round one, and it says, love makes a house a home. And I just love that one. And you know, you could cover this up with something else for a different occasion, or you could just leave it, but... I thought it was good for any, any occasion at all. Maybe I'll empty out the... Well, I'm going to drop it. Because I have some that go together here. So we'll just pull out everything. Like, I only went into... You know what I went in to look for? Um, some of the girls in the States were hauling... Um, the uh valentine large valentine gnomes with the big hats couldn't find any anywhere so we may not have them here in canada or <laughs> i may just not have them in my store so yes let's grab some of these things i got in groupings I might as well show you the other wooden wooden thing that I got. I have to put that over there. And I saw this sign when I went in, and I couldn't resist. And I'm looking at it thinking, you know what? You could change this up or just cover it up for different occasions. I know a lot of you do. I got no place to put it. I suppose I could put it on my Canon can uh, printer. Anyway, okay, next. I know I have lots of uh, styrofoam balls, these mini foam balls, they call them, but I don't think I have any this size. Now, I in one of the pictures that I took, because I wanted to remember how, what it looked like so I could, you know, make it again, I could either use pom-poms, which I have a pom-pom maker and I can use small and make a body and a head or use these. So these will come in handy in my styrofoam um, container that I have in my room. So we shall see, we shall see. Now, when I first went in, I saw this and it's just calls it table scatter, but these are cupcakes. And I think they're just adorable. So I went back and picked up another one. And I think, is that it? I thought I picked up three. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I picked up two of the cupcakes. 
I have to start finding room here. And then I saw these absolutely adorable. I bought two packs of little woodland animals. So we've got the owl, the fox. I think that's a squirrel. It looks like a squirrel and a little hedgehog. And you know how much I love hedgehogs. So I bought two. I thought they were so adorable. Now, in rearranging, oh, I thought that opened, I thought that opened. In rearranging my bedroom, trying to, I'm still, it's a horror right now. Because I'm going through clothes, because I'm going through my closet, kind of doing half a dozen things at one, packing up the Christmas stuff, which I've done, but I still have a few more, so I have a box to put anything Christmassy in there. I do have some Christmas things out here that I think I'm going to pack up. Um, I don't get newspaper. I don't have a lot of packing paper. So I think the best bet for me is to go to um, our local container store or um, U-Haul is where I usually go. And uh, they have boxes of uh, newsprint, you know, the white paper packing paper and I think I'll go and buy a box. It's not wasted because you know if and when we ever move it'll be used to pack up stuff. So anyway talking about that in my in my room in my room on my cube shelf I don't remember the name of it from Ikea. You girls are great at remembering stuff like that. I'm not. I had picked up some of these um what do they call them? Mini chalkboard clipboards. Mini chalk clipboards. And there's three in a package. And I have nine uh, squares. And what I thought I could do is use chalk to write what's in each of the, of the, um, the containers. And so I bought three. So I'll have nine of them. Um, and that way I know what's inside of it. I may do that. Or... I may put it on, instead of using chalk, I may just tape temporarily, tape a piece of paper and print off with a really nice print, probably on white cardstock, uh, the name of what's in each of those containers. And that way I'll feel like it's prettier because, you know, writing it is okay if you've got beautiful handwriting. My handwriting's okay, but not when I have to do something and I want to repeat it to be the same. So I, I thought that using uh, white card stock, I will measure it so that it'll leave a black border around it and print off what is in each container. Long story about that. Whatever. Now, I, I had gotten a complaint about me talking about my mother and how I care for her and giving her enemas and making sure she's not constipated. I mean, all the TMI stuff that people don't like to talk about, but it's a fact of life. Now, mom's not at that point yet, but I don't have, if mom has an accident at night, I don't have anything underneath her sheet um, to protect if she happens to have a little accident, you know, we all sneeze and dribble and stuff like that. And, um, yes, I do have some, um, adult depends kind of thing, adult diaper things, whatever you want to call them. But I thought, I just got kind of brainstorm. I bought some of these pet Pads. Now, I used to use these on the floor for the cats um, to put them under their litter because, you know, when they miss and have an accident outside or along the dribble along the side, this, you know, protected my floor. And I thought that I could use these. Now, there's only three in here, and I only bought this one. I don't usually buy from Dollarama because um, you only get three in here. And I know that the ones I used to get at the dollar store, I think think there was 10 in a package for the same price. But I just got them to test it out. I wanna just 
but lay it underneath her sheet and test it out. And I want to feel it to see if it's going to make noise, it's going to crinkle, bother her, whatever. Um, and the size of it, just to see. You know, I might have to take two together. I don't know. Mom has not had accidents yet. But this could be good for anybody. You know, this kind of thing, putting it, you know, rather than going out and trying to buy adult pads for beds or for children's beds and so on. I'm going to, I'm just going to give it a try. That's the reason I got it. It was just something I had thought about. Now, getting back to, I almost said Halloween. Getting back to Valentine's Day, my, uh, my daughter, and I don't know why I bought two, there's 32 in here. My daughter and her family, the boy, the three boys, are Avenger nuts. They love all of the Marvel characters. When I walked into the dollar store, dollar, the Dollar Tree, they had tons of these Avenger Valentines. Let me show you that properly here. So, in Valentine, it's what's on the inside that counts. Oh, my God, they're going to love this. They're going to love this. Anyway, I am going to put, there's 32. I don't know how many. I don't think the 14-year-old will want one to give to, but I think that the other two might. And if not, these will be great cards to use for something else. So, that's what I picked up. I don't know if they're going to use them or not. And I used to have tons of this table scatter. Now, these are hearts, but there's also just the frame of hearts. I tried to keep it up here to show you. See, there's hollow ones, just the outside, and there's full ones. So, it's a little bit of both in there. And I thought that would go great in my stash of goodies. You know, I said I was fed up with Halloween. Halloween again. Valentine's Day. What? What? Okay. All right, sorry. These are scratch tickets, right? Uh, scratch tickets, scratch stickers. They're hearts. And I thought that the kids could put it on their Valentine's for fun because who doesn't love to scratch? So I just assumed you scratch it and there's a little message like be mine and blah, 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 whatever. But no, now I'm going to take it out of the package, if I can, to show you. Apparently, you write something down, and then you cover it. With these things. I'm just going to see here. Yeah. So I guess you have to have a heart that size because look, 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 look. So you write something on the heart, you put the sticker over it, and then for them to see it, all they have to do is scratch this off. Oh, I sh you know, when you go shopping, you should always read Where'd the thing go? Oh, here it is. Read the instructions. Oh. I wasn't going to get these. I wasn't going to get them. And then I changed my mind. These are little notepads. There's eight in a pack. So we've got, this one says, Hugs and Kisses XOXO Express. With the little red truck. And then this one is have a 
and then it says, and then Valentine's Day. I'd say, oh, have a sweet Valentine. The sweet is written, dark in here, the read is written, the, the sweet is written on the icing. Oh my God, there. There, you can see it in the camera, but sorry, this is a long video. I did find those um, hearts that I wanted, solid hearts. It's going to work out perfectly for my little project that I'm working on. And then I saw these ones with the arrow. And I thought these would be great too. So those go in with my wood supply. I also found, because sometimes it's hard to get these, uh, natural wood slices. So I picked up some more of those. I'm getting down to um, two more. Th this is There's three of these, so two more items. I saw these stamps, and I just, sorry, could not resist. Here we go, this way. With the dream catchers and the fat and the uh, feathers and it says be brave or catch your dream isn't that beautiful i just love these i love these and the last thing i was looking for sometimes it's hard to get looking for books like normal books not hard for little kids you know the thick cardboard ones but actual paper ones because um i want to do some fussy cutting and i wanted to use some of the images so this one is help and forgive this is god's little zoo collection there's two stories and there's two stories in each book but some of the pictures I thought were so adorable that I could fussy cut them and use them on different things. I know, but I have no one to polite and brave. So this is a little tiger and a little toucan. What's the other one? Is it the same? Oh, the first one is a little tiger being polite. And the second one is the toucan. I thought it was cute. So that was um, help and forgiveness, polite and brave. Really hard to find these in some of my stores. And this one is kind and respectful. And of course, it's got a little elephant and a giraffe. And like I say, it's got kind of two stories. Oh, the other one is little monkeys. Oh, and it's even got little things on the, on the back little uh, maze and word search and cute little pictures and a cute little story. Anyway, I know I have no babies, but I still, you know, I might be able to use the pictures. <sighs> Fussy cut them, use them. I don't know yet. That's it, guys. Way too long. Thanks for joining me. I am going to do my best to get this video up for tomorrow. I gotta learn. I don't even know. Oops, I forgot to turn. And what I love is that they have these turn on and turn off things here. And it's all, here we go. Isn't that wonderful? Beautiful color. Love the green. Looks great on my pink table. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.